Hi, and welcome to PrimaPrep.com. Today, we're going to be talking about the Krieger Straight Razor. Now, I really like doing these reviews because I really like talking about these great straight razors and how much I enjoy them and what great shaves they provide. Um, but unfortunately today, I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm going to have to give you my honest opinion on this razor and it's not all positive. Actually, mostly not positive. Uh, in the straight razor market, there's a lot of cheap knockoffs and they're generally manufactured in Asia. Uh, they try to imitate the Dover, Dovos and the Bokers of the world, but they're just cheaply made, uh, inferior materials, and they just provide a horrible shave. Um, and this is one of them. Uh, at first glance, though, it looks really nice. Got a cool little emblem on there. Um, the scales are pretty cool. Kind of got a abalone shell look about them. The blade, at first glance, looks okay with the logo Krieger on it. Got that Krieger, you know, German-sounding name. Um, but after that, as you start digging in the details, you'll find that it's just subpar. Um, first, I guess we'll dig into the sharpness. Uh, many of the reviewers did complain that the razor required some serious sharpening before it could be used. Um, I will defend in that respect because... Look, even if you buy one of the really nice brands and really nice straight razors, you still have to hone it and sharpen it before you use it. Like even the ones that are say they're shave ready, to get them to their pristine condition, you've got to spend a little bit of time. So this one, just like any others, yes, you do have to hone to try to get it to um, that pristine condition for it to be really truly shave ready. But I will say when I actually did try to go through the whole honing process and really sharpen it up and get a good shave out of it, I couldn't even get it to hold an edge past a 4K hone. So it, it just really fell short uh, in that respect. Uh, it's just the quality of the steel is just, you know, subpar and it, it can't hold it, can't hold an edge. Um, in terms of durability, well, I guess one positive thing is it is made of stainless steel. The blade here so it won't rust on you uh, but that's about the only positive thing I can say um, the scales uh, I read a lot of reviews that uh, the buttons fell out or the handle or the scales just started to come apart so I haven't had that myself but this is I've just newly purchased this so uh, I can't really give it honestly good score in terms of durability either Ease of use, well, um, for my assessment, I, I just I just feel the the weight and the balance is all off. Uh, it seems like it's way way more weighted on the back end, and not enough on the blade end. So even if this did have a nice uh, blade on it, I think you'd still get a subpar shave just because of the weighting. Um, so that, that, in terms of ease of use, that's what really I, I can really say about it. Uh, the only real positive aspect of this razor is its price, and I think that's the big allure for everybody. Um, it's between 10 and 25 bucks. So, but I know it's super ex inexpensive, and, and, and that's what's so attractive about it, but I, I really still think even at that price, it's, that's a huge waste of money. Um, there's far better products out there. Um, it's just like, I know the Krieger sounds nice and, you know, that German sounding name, but this thing has nothing in common with the real German brands like Dovo and Boker. And uh, I guess if you're in the market for like a fancy looking paperweight or some kind of box cutter, uh, well then this razor is definitely for you. But if you're looking for a nice quality straight razor shave, uh, I would definitely look elsewhere. So you can definitely check out the rest of the, my review at primprep.com. Uh, I would recommend you spend your time more wisely actually looking at my other reviews of the other stray razors. Uh, so hopefully I can guide you to a stray razor that you'll really like and will give you good quality shaves uh, for years to come. 
So that's about it. Thanks so much.